So to create a new timeline in DaVinci Resolve, all you need to do is grab your footage and drop it into the timeline and your new timeline will be created with the settings that you have recorded on that specific camera. So this is our main camera angle, camera angle one that we use for our shot and we've dropped that into the footage. Now if you're recording two cameras or you're recording your screen in a tutorial together with the camera, then you need to sync your two shots in order to make your life easier in the edit. So we're going to grab our screen recording that we had with this. Now we need to sync that audio so we don't have to check where we need to align stuff. So we're gonna head into the edit page and then I want you to select both your camera angles and we're going to right click on it and we're gonna go auto align clips and you can do based on time code if you have a camera set up for that beforehand but we like to go based on waveform and DaVinci Resolve is gonna analyze the two clips check the waveforms and align them correctly now in order to do this when you start your recording you need to start your camera and your screen recording or your main camera and your second camera angle and then you need to have a sync clap in the beginning so all you do is clap your hands or if you have one of these fancy clapper boards, then you can just use your clapper board like a Hollywood movie. And that's going to give you spikes in your waveform. And that's going to make it easier for DaVinci Resolve to auto align those clips and get them in the right order. Let's open up these audio waveforms so that you can see how they have been aligned. So now you can see here our sync clap is here. If we zoom in, you'll see we have our peaks there and the audio is perfectly aligned from DaVinci Resolve. So that saves us so much time. In our edit. Now the one thing with screen recordings is they're not always recorded in the same dimensions that you recorded your main footage. So what I like to do is then just select that screen recording and just zoom in a bit to fill the frame. So we have our camera one angle and our screen recording synced up and we can edit those together.